who in their right mind wouldn't? Of course, anybody who had the chance to, you know, break records and have their name written in the history books and all of these pieces, like, nobody's gonna say like, no, I don't really want that. <laughs> so I'm like, well, that's kind of a given. Of course, that's gonna be incredible if it happens, but that's not something that has defined my career. And, um, you know, to this day, the thing that I enjoy the most more than racing or anything else is just going out and like skiing really well and making improvements. Some athletes literally get in the starting gate. I really believe they're thinking, you know, just I want to win this race and they their will to win it trumps, you know, what they do with their technique, anything that just it's like somehow that gets them down the hill faster. Just wanting to win gets them down the hill faster, but that has never worked for me. And it's probably because of how my parents raised me, raised me that, you know, there's a way to do things well, a way to learn. Um, a lot of that, what you know, both my parents really harped on proper technique and skiing because it is, a, you know, if you have more disciplined stance and whatnot, then it's actually just a safer way to ski. And, you know, my dad being a doctor, mom being a nurse, they were like, we also want to protect your body and we want to make sure, you know, your knees are in good condition and, you know, you're able to walk by the time you're 40 and all of these pieces. So, and like continue to enjoy the sport for your entire life because it, you'll want to enjoy the sport longer than your ski racing career lasts. You know, before my dad's accident, my biggest strength was my ability to focus for pretty much any length of time. And especially in races that came in handy when I could, you know, turn my attention on to what I wanted to be focusing on for the race, exactly what I needed to, to do it. Losing somebody can, it just, it's just exhausting and you don't even know why you're so tired, but you're just exhausted all the time and you can't focus and you can't do simple daily tasks like just remembering simple things or basic, basic, basic things. And I've been talking with a sports psychologist and trying to work through basically like doing squats for my brain, <laughs> trying to bring back some level of uh, like energy for my attention span essentially and I'm hoping at the very least I'm able to uh, like ref I don't know refocus my attention for the second runs because what I was finding last season was first run I would be in a pretty good place I'd have good intensity I felt good with my skiing and what I wanted to do and a lot of the first runs I was quite fast and then I somewhere in between first and second run I would just feel so it was just it was like a it was like a you put a like a like a filter like an Instagram filter over my body and all of a sudden I was just everything every muscle felt like it just needed to shut down so that was just to me it was a telltale sign that it, it takes time to heal through something like that but it also Maybe it's something I can work on a little bit because especially with, you know, with a sport like ski racing, it's dangerous to not be at least awake. I got into skiing because my parents and that was, that's always something I've shared uh, and like celebrated really closely with my family. But I, I would say over the last I don't know, over the last decade since I started racing World Cup, it it has morphed a little bit. Um, I got into something different, but I did I did feel in a, a lot of cases I felt some separation between, you know, thinking of my dad and then ski racing and doing the task at hand. And I think that was actually really important because I would not have come back otherwise. My career and who I am as a human being is so, so far removed from the two weeks that we spend in Beijing, like 
<laughs> racing for gold medals and doing that whole thing. And as important as that is to me and how much I care about it, I don't care about it more than like being true to my values and you know, loving my family and just working as hard as I can on a daily basis. Those are things, those are the things that I'm like, that, that's what's guiding me on a daily basis. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.